I was wondering in the first episode why the voice actors of Gojo and then Yaga Masamichi sounded so familiar, and I don't know why I didn't look it up during the discussion, but uh, some people commented and I looked it up, and obviously Gojo has done many, many works that I know of. He's Reinhard from ReZero, Sukasa from uh, Dr. Stone, Moomin Rider from One Punch Man, Hawks from My Hero, and he's Kuro from uh, Haikyuu, so obviously I would recognize him, and then uh, Yaga Masamichi is Razor from Hunter x Hunter. Like, how did I know? not point these out they're so predominant and so good what's up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with jujutsu kaisen episode three this one's called girl of steel i if i had to bet any money i would assume girl of steel is going to be the third first year that we met at the end of last episode i'm not gonna lie i have seen her in the opening because i've watched that opening probably a hundred times since the start of the show it's so good um, but it looks like she uses nails or some sort of steel, I would assume, based off the title of this episode. I am just so excited to hop into it, find out how we're going to eat more of Sakuna's fingers now that we got our motivation, now that we're realizing it's not only based on what our grandpa said, but because we couldn't live with the regret or we couldn't live with it if we knew we could do this and, and people ended up dying because of it. So I'm just so excited. I'm, I say we hop right on in this episode. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, such as Black Clover, Q, and many, many more to come, make sure to check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to com don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. You know, we always do this in one take. We never, we never redo this. Um, do not forget to click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. At Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's hop right on into this. Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, episode three, Girl of Steel. I am so excited. Ooh. So I know she mentioned last episode she's from the country. Yeah, he looks swaggy. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> Look at his glasses. He's like a tourist. Ugisaki Nobara. Okay. <laughs> hey, don't roast my boy like that. Oh god. Okay, so Itadori and Kugisaki are super excited about this being from the country. Or Ropongi, okay. Oh, for an actual job. Okay. Okay. Not for a tour. Okay. <laughs> well, that's even better for me, so I'm okay with that. Okay, good. This this is a very well needed test. That's true. Which I'm so excited about. I'm sorry to pause it real quick, guys. Can you guys confirm? Because um, I have this issue with almost every anime I watch, especially when it comes to schools, because some people like to use people's last names and some people like to use people's first names, especially when it comes to senpai. Like Gojo called her Nobara her first name and Yuji Yuji. Do you guys, and should I say their first name or last name? Do you guys say Yuji or do you guys say Itadori? Do you guys say Megumi or do you guys say Fushiguro? Just let me know, because I would love to know. I'm sorry I sound like a noob. Thank you. Ooh. Slaughter Demon, a weapon imbued with cursed energy. Oh, wow. Okay. So, all Yuji. No, no Sukuna. Which, I want to see her skills, too. Damn. 
Well, found him. Okay, nice reflexes. My man is insane. Nice. Get rid of its mobility. This man is insane. I see. Okay, so that's why it's mainly a test for Nobara. We know Yuji has that non-hesitation, ready-to-go killer instinct whenever. Okay, she's... Ooh, with the steel. Ooh. Hammer and nails? Okay. Ooh, that looks so cool. And then it catches itself, ready to stand back up. Much heavier population, much deeper and more negative curses. Oh, is this the commercial cut? That that was crazy. Wow, even after the initial attack, it just keeps going and inf and flows in her curse energy. But it's not done yet? Oh. Is this actually a kid, or...? Yes, it is. Oh my god. I was worried- I was worried it'd be a curse that could, like, imitate humans. It's using the kid as a shield, as a hostage. So curses can be soup can be intelligent as well. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm curious about. I'm like, oh lord. I see. Okay. This is super creative. Wow. This is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting pure strength, like just stronger. Okay. I like this a lot more. The grades. The one at the school in the first episode was a grade two, right? There's logically speaking, and then there's doing the right thing. She gave herself up. She mentioned Sayori earlier. I asked my boy Yuji coming through the wall. Oh, he's gonna have some big entrance. Nice, cut off those hands. Get that boy at a immediate danger. I'm really digging this music right now. This reminds me of Persona 5 when they would do a ting, 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 ting. It was actually with nails too, even in Persona. That is so cool. I forgot what type of power was that? What type of attribute was that? And that's so cool. It had a super low chance of hitting them, but if it did hit them, it would one shot kill them. So it was like that. This one was, you know, based off a limb that they had already Cut off, but that's so cool. That's why the van said go back to Tokyo and had all that. Yeah. All that negativity. Oh, she moved away. That's so sad, especially being a young girl. Just yeah, wouldn't be enough. That is more than sickening. That was such a crazy story, though. I love it. Hell yeah. After that story, same reason. I like that. Fuck the country. I 
Shouts out to Sayori, even though she's not here anymore. That's nice. She still influences and, and inspires, motivates even after she's gone. That's how you know you've truly left an impression on someone. That's how you know you're a good person. Hell yeah. <laughs> I do like her personality. Take sushi. I, I like this three a lot. I can already tell. Typical anime three, you know, gotta have them. Unnamed apparition of potential special grade. It's a curse. It's curse womb. How are they going to end the episode like that to a funky ass ending? What? Well, for introducing our third character and or the girl of the group, I really enjoy her personality. She kind of reminds me of Tsunade in a, in a certain aspect in terms of her very aggressive, very firm personality. But uh, I do really like the reason in which she left the countryside. You know, it's kind of unique because she wanted to get out of there and, you know, without any money. And this is one of the ways how I do, I do think it goes deeper than that because we had uh, that that backstory doesn't explain how she's able to use jujutsu magic and or see curses so i definitely am curious about that but i do really love her motivation and inspiration when it comes to sayori like even though she was ostracized she knows this person and knows that that's just that's just paranoia and being stupid so like she knows the person for who she is and she thinks she's an amazing person but I need to have a timeline of where we're at right now in terms of the show because obviously they very, made a very specific point to tell the time July I'm pretty sure it said 2018 and so and so three first years were dispatched to this this juju this this curse womb and normally people can't see curses so the fact that all of these people could see curses definitely made it special grade like they were saying in here but one of the first years who was dispatched died like i oh my this is gonna be insane i have no idea i don't know if this is gonna be the end of the first season i don't know if this is a flash forward to the end of the show i don't know what this was but this was a little teaser that made it so much more hype but i do really like her curse magic as well it's like nails with a hammer and you know she can imbue her curse magic into the curses but Someone want to remind me in the comments what that power was from Persona 5 that I'm thinking of because you know there was wind, uh, lightning, fire, ice, nuke or radiation, there was light or heaven magic, and then there was the dark one. It was like dark demon insta kill. I forgot what it was, but it was so it reminded me so much of that. It was amazing. This episode was amazing. I'm about to hop into this next one. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes. We are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Come check it out down below. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. See you guys later.